Welcome back my lovelies. I'm so excited because we have another 10 hairstyles. It's exciting for you, but that means I have to do the 10 hairstyles right Yay. now. Woohoo! All of these hairstyles are going to be featuring Topsy Tails. They're fast, they're simple, and they're gorgeous. There's so many different variations. Let's get started. The first hairstyle is going to be a diagonal topsy tail updo. Very simple. All you would need for all of these hairstyles is going to be some clear elastics, your finger, or if you want to use kind of like this topsy tail helper or guide. They're very easy to come by. You can get at drugstore, Amazon, Alta. And we're actually sampling some hair elastics because in the future we are thinking to sell these. So these ones I really like. They're snack free, they don't snap easy, and they're just awesome. I'm gonna start on a deeper part, and I'm gonna grab my first section to create my ponytail. You're gonna split the ponytail right in half, right above the clear elastic, and then just take the hair up and through the hole. Or you can use your little tool. I'm just gonna use my finger for now. The next part is probably the most difficult. You just have to repeat the first step and make sure you include the ponytail into your section. You get a ponytail, you split it in half, and you bring the ponytail through over and under. It's that simple. Last section. You want to do it below your ear. And then I'm just going to roll it up and just secure it underneath the last topsy tail with a few bobby pins. And that's it. I think the overall look is phenomenal. It's great for special events, for every day, to the gym, running errands. This is an amazing, versatile hairstyle. And it should take you five to seven minutes, if that, to complete this look. Simple yet elegant. This next one is really simple and takes minutes to accomplish. This one's great for school, for work, the office, or just every day in general. I'm gonna split my hair right down the middle from front to the back and create a ponytail on each side to create a topsy tail. Split the ponytails in half and create your topsy tail. I did under and over. And then take the two ponytails, meet them in the middle, and I created a messy bun out of it to complete the entire look. This should take you a total of maybe two minutes to complete just because it's two tops of tails and a messy bun in the back to complete the look. I just like that it gives a little cool edge to your regular bun. It gives a really cool pattern in the back with the tops of tails. The next one is going to be upside down tops of tails into space buns. Same thing, split my hair right in the middle, front to the back, and then I'm gonna take one section of the hair and just put it away because we're not gonna touch it for now. Put it away as if I'm, you know, putting it somewhere in the closet. I'm going to be working in smaller sections just because I want that really intense dimension from the topsy tails. You can do bigger sections, even smaller. It's up to you. It's gonna be the same gist. Create a ponytail, split it in half. This one's going to be going under and over. Make sure the ponytail is going towards the top, not towards the bottom. And you wanna not forget the ponytail from the first topsy tail into the next ponytail. It's gonna be all one big section. Once I reach the crown, I'm gonna create a messy space bun with the rest of the hair, leave it be, and then move on to the second side and create the exact same topsy tail upside down into a space bun. Keep it as similar as many sections you have on the right side or the left side just to keep it uniform and equal. And then create the space buns. I'm gonna make them a little bigger and then secure everything with a couple of bobby pins. And there we have it. I love space buns. They have so many different variations. This is my topsy tail variation. 
The next one is going to be a super simple edgy look. I'm gonna take my hair and part it to a deep side and then we're gonna start doing really simple, tiny little topsy tails. Kind of like a braid, but instead of braiding, we'll do a topsy tail. And that's it. I did a total of four sections. It should take you a minute to a minute and a half, if that, depending how fast you are with your hands. But this one, it gives a nice edgy look. I think it looks amazing. Keep it nice and tight. I'm not gonna pull it apart. And that's it, you guys. I don't know what else to say. Simple yet elegant, <laughs> once again. This next one is going to include a braid. I know, ow, but not really. Braids are awesome. Alongside with tops and tails, I had to include a braid. I promise it's the only one in this video. <laughs> So I'm gonna create a Dutch braid from the front to the crown of my head and tie it off. A Dutch braid is where you take the outer sections and you cross them under the middle section to create that beautiful braid. I'm gonna tie off the braid right on top of the crown and create my first topsy tail. This one's gonna go over and under. And then just continue grabbing section after section, creating that topsy tail, making sure the ponytail is going towards the bottom, not towards the top. And then I'm gonna finish it off at the very bottom, creating one tiny little topsy tail, and then I'm gonna kind of roll it underneath, tuck it away with bobby pins. And there we have it for the fifth one. I hope you guys like this one. A lot of texture and dimension happening here. I love it. We just took a break, went to get some food, ate, and now we're back to film the rest of the hairstyles. So this next hairstyle is going to be kind of like a take on the skeleton braid, but tops to tail version. And it's just gonna be right here to the crown. So it's not gonna be all of your hair. So I'm gonna section my hair off into the one section that I'm actually going to use and create the topsy tail out of. And then the rest of the hair, I'm gonna put it back and not worry about it. And just begin doing your topsy tails. First the ponytail, split it in half, and then create your topsy tail. It. It's also very simple and it's for those that don't want to braid and this will last day, night, an extra five days. It will be nice and secure in your head. I love this look. It's very edgy, very retro, very much Malibu approved. Next one is going to be a topsy tail headband. Very simple but very effective. I'm going to section off the hair for the headband portion from, I think from the back of my ear to the other back of my ear and just kind of maybe an inch to two inches thick. This headband is probably foolproof. You could probably go hiking, swimming, rock climbing, go fight professionally, but this is not going anywhere. I mean, the rest of your hair will, but not this. You're welcome. This next one is going to be another updo. I'm gonna split my hair right down the middle, just right here on the top from the from the front to the crown of the head and then I'm gonna do two to three topsy tails on each side but not as tight. You'll see I'm gonna pull it apart just a little bit to give it more dimension.
Once the three loose tops of tails are done on each side, with the rest of the hair, I'm going to create a low, messy bun, secure it with an elastic, and then make it bigger and secure it with bobby pins. This hairstyle is giving me a very 1800s vibe. I'm not mad at it. I like all the texture. <laughs> I like all the volume. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Andre said this reminds him of the Anne of Green Gables show that was on Netflix. I don't know why. Who had poofy hair there? Everybody had poofy hair. One of the mothers. <laughs> Your mother. Anne was an orphan. This next one is kind of like a headband, but it's gonna start in the middle. This one is amazing for bangs. If you're growing out your bangs or just for fringes, it's an amazing hairstyle that's super simple, but really, really cute. I'm gonna take bigger sections for this hairstyle just because we're working with less sections. And here's the ninth hairstyle. Very easy, but it's really cute, and I like that you can do this one for bangs or fringes. We are almost done. We're almost at the finish line. I left the best for last. It's the best for me because it's the last one. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so this one is going to be the Dutch version of a topsy tail. I'm excited. So instead of taking the topsy tail over and under, it's going to be under and over. I have a total of five sections and now I'm going to pull them apart. I'm only going to focus the hair right where, it's kind of like the inside of where the clear elastic is, where the top of the tail starts creating. That's where I'm gonna pull apart the hair. I just finished it off with a really, really small bubble bun, I like to call it, just to match the rest of the hairstyle. And there we have it. This hairstyle is really sporty, edgy, but yeah, it's really romantic and elegant. Yes, we made it to the very end. Milana is very happy right now, and so is Andre. <laughs> we are bringing back hairstyle of the day very soon. Who's excited? Because I am, I really like those videos. And let me know which hairstyle today was your favorite. I don't know, I think the first one and this one might be my favorite. What about you, babe? I already forgot what the first one was. It's like the diagonal one, <laughs> kind of like the curved. That one was nice. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with us. I love you all very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.